Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, folks, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please get on there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well is a link to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be discussing it all. We'll be doing a live radio show right here on this channel, talking about the New York Jets and Aaron Rodgers and what we've done in free agency. We'll be discussing it all. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks about the New York Jets <laughs> restructuring contracts. The restructuring contracts. We've re-signed some guys as well. Quincy Williams, Greg Zerline. We've also lost some guys too. We've lost some guys to free agency. Mike White is moving on. And I want to discuss it all with y'all. So we're going to start first with the re-signs, okay? The guys we were able to get back. Quincy Williams, okay? has been re-signed. He's back with the New York Jets. The New York Jets have signed him to a three-year deal worth $18 million, okay? Now, keep in mind, this includes $9 million in guarantees, and it could go up to $21 million, you know, with a lot of the incentives and things that he has going on in his contract. This is a wonderful re-sign. A guy that came in here that Joe Douglas was able to grab, he was a late cut by the Jacksonville Jaguars, Joe Douglas grabbed him, brought him in, and he provided a spark. And he's continued to really give us some things there at outside linebacker. I love what he brings to the table. This year, 106 tackles, three sacks. He's a guy that makes play after play after play. And he's handling business. Looking really good in solo scheme. I like what he brings to the table. I like that Joe Douglas got this done. Keeps Quincy in the building well, along with his brother. Hopefully, we get Quinnin done soon. But, you know, the two brothers are here, and I'm happy about it. I'm excited for the Jets, and I'm excited for this defense. The New York Jets have also brought back Greg Zerline. Greg Zerline back with the New York Jets. He gets a one-year deal worth up to $3.5 million. Now, this is big. I know a lot of Jets fans are kind of overlooking this, but this is big because the New York Jets have had real issues, and it's been a real struggle to find a quality kicker and keep him around since, like, Jason Myers, right? We haven't been able to keep a guy. Anybody remember those... That year where we had all these kickers, Vid Vic, and all these guys just <laughs> just in the facility that couldn't get it done, that was kicking in, we cut him, we bring another guy in. Well, that has been settled. We got Greg, we brought him in, he did a solid job for us this past season, so we're bringing him back for another year. And I like this as well. Special teams is big. I think a lot of people lose sight of that a lot. And uh, getting Greg Zerline, keeping him in this building, keeping him here at kicker, getting some continuity there, allowing him to go to do his thing is huge. So lose to Joe Douglas for that. Now, let me tell you something. Mike White. Mike White has signed a two-year deal with the Miami Dolphins worth $16 million. And boy, do I not like this. <laughs> I don't like this, okay? We lose Mike White in free agency. You know, at this point, everybody, you know, it's been reported that from Trey Wingo that we've got the deal done with Aaron Rodgers is not official yet. But when you look at the situation, Mike White was a guy that we saw that could be a very quality backup here. And not only just a quality backup, but when asked to step in and be a starter, he could go do that, too. And that is huge in the NFL. Backups, having a solid backup quarterback is gigantic in the NFL because you just never know. So now to set up a situation where... Let's say, knock on wood, let's say we get Aaron Rodgers, the deal's done, Aaron Rodgers in the building, maybe he gets nicked up, has to sit for a couple of games, who do we go to? Do we go to Strebler? Do we bring in Zach Wilson? Like, what is going on? I wanted to see Mike White get brought back because I wanted to put Zach Wilson in bubble wrap and allow him to just sit for the next however many years Aaron Rodgers is here until he was fully ready, got his mechanics together, got everything together, and was really ready to be out there on the field to be at the helm of the NFL offense. But we'll see. Maybe the New York Jets have other plans. They'll grab a, uh, a backup quarterback somewhere. Maybe it's a free agent guy they're looking at. 
And uh, they just allowed Mike White to, you know, walk away and go to the Dolphins. So I, I, it sucks for me. I know, you know, people want to see him happy, but it sucks that we lose him. It also sucks that he's gone to such a hated division rival in the Miami Dolphins. So the Jets lose Mike White. Now, we're going to start talking about the New York Jets restructuring contracts and gaining cap space here. Now, the New York Jets talked to DJ Reed. Lakin Tomlinson, Tyler Conklin, they were to sit down, restructure their contracts, and their rework contracts gave the New York Jets $15.2 million in cap space. That's huge. And what the Jets did was they converted their base salaries into signing bonuses, and they prorated them over the final two years of the contract. Now, the downside of this, I guess, for people is like a little bit later on in the contract, it's going to be tough to cut them because you're really going to eat a lot if you do that. But guess what? You know, these are guys that have shown some things here. Tomlinson needs to step up because he's a little, uh, you know, this past season. But Conklin has been solid. DJ Reed, man, he's been phenomenal. He's been phenomenal. So, you know, they were able to create some cap space there, get $15.2 million back. They also uh, reworked John Franklin Myers' contract as well, brought him down, you know, to, to save the New York Jets $4.8 million in cap savings. So here we are sitting... Yeah, Joe Douglas was talking about that, that they were able to, you know, pull things together and they could really pull and get some real solid cap space here. And we're sitting at over $20 million in cap space. Keep in mind, CJ Uzama had restructured his contract as well to get down from 10.3 to $6.7 million. We cut Braxton Burials, which saved the New York Jets $5 million. I know that they've also approached CJ Mosey and his agents as well to try to restructure his contract, which is going to be big, man, because there's some guys with some questions here, and CJ Mosley is one of them. You look at this situation, $21.5 million, okay, is what he's going to count. I'm hoping the New York Jets can restructure that contract. I don't know what they can do, maybe extend them. I have no clue. But restructure that contract to get that number down. That is a lot to pay for an inside linebacker. You also look at the situation with Corey Davis. Corey Davis is a guy that could end up being cut, okay? $10.5 million is what he could save you know, the New York Jets if they get rid of them. So we'll see what happens, especially with all the things swirling out there about possible free agents, especially wide receivers that could end up joining the New York Jets. Also, there's a movement here to extend Carl Lawson and also bring his number down as well, which would help the Jets as well. Jordan Whitehead is another guy with questions surrounding him and his contract, especially with uh, you know, us bringing in a safety as well, Clark. So we'll see what happens going forward with him. If the Jets get rid of him, that could save them $7.2 million. I'm not advocating for that. I like Jordan Whitehead. I know that there's a lot of fans that are going to want to get rid of him. I don't. I like him here, but he's a guy that could be, you know, on the border there with everything that's going on. So we'll see what happens going forward. Again, I know we're all still waiting for this thing with Aaron Rodgers to be official. But the New York Jets are moving and shaking. They're creating a lot of stuff. And I I personally believe that the Jets are not just, you know, all about Aaron Rodgers. Of course, they want to get that deal done. And again, according to Trey Wingo, it's done. But I think the Jets are really pulling some things together. So when that deal is official, they'll be able to grab all these free agents that are going to be interested in coming here. I really believe that Joe Douglas has something up his sleeve big, creating all this cap space. So comment down below. Let me know what your folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.